Hey everyone, today is February 19th and it marks um, almost three weeks that I've been using a medium Campania as a single everyday carry um, as a planner wallet combination. And I wanted to give you an update on how that's working for me and the changes that I've made um, since I've moved into a single planner. Really thought that I was going to miss my Hobonichi Weeks book, and I do a little bit, but I'm really happy with just having this one thing and being able to use it. This is still my Rust Campania Medium from Julio, and um, a very quick tour. There's not a whole lot new in the larger overall organization from the last video that I did. I keep my main debit card, credit card in this pocket behind a little die cut, and I have had no concerns at all about it coming out. It doesn't, it won't fit this way for if you're not familiar with Julio. The card will not fit in sideways, which would have been maybe more ideal. But with, the, with my die cut in front of it, <clears throat> it stays in there securely. I have not worried about it falling out or sliding or slipping. I keep my cash money in this pocket and um, US cash bills fit very nicely in this area. I keep my less frequently or least frequently used um, rewards cards and credit cards tucked in this pocket so that I can fish them out if I need them. Generally, I don't, so they just stay in there. I've got uh, an envelope from Hobonichi with some whole reinforcers and a few stickers in an envelope back here. I keep my list of things, my shopping list with an Oli clip on my leather fly leaf. I keep my medium used cards in the back card slots. My driver's license is back here and I haven't had um I haven't had problems with that being back here. I don't get asked for it very frequently, so it's fine back here. I love this erasable um, <clears throat> Pilot Biz, I think it is, gel pen. <clears throat> it's thin enough that it fits in this pen loop. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's thin enough that it fits in here fine. You can slide it out really easily. And honestly, you guys, you can put it back in and push it down and it will clip most of the time. Now, of course, because I'm trying to show you, most of the time, if I slide it in, it will clip with the pen clip on the elastic with no problem at all. So there's no issue with it damaging the leather on the strap at all. Love it, It's just, it, it really is perfect. And I really love the erasable pens in my planner. Um, I did make an adjustment from side tabs to bottom tabs because of the, amount of room that you have in personal sized inserts and a medium Campania, they really do come to the pen loop and, and get bent um, if you're using them. And these are just 25 millimeter rings. Um, so I made the shift down to bottom tabs and I really, I, I, I like them. I, you can see them, I can see them quite easily. I ended up um, incorporating a couple of rulers. This is a Filofax ruler, and I'm not sure if this one's from a day timer or what it's from. Um, I can't read backwards. Yeah, it's a day timer ruler. And I used um, rose gold washi tape to cover the top so that they'd be a little bit more visible. I am excited to tell you that I tried printing on Tomoe River paper. I purchased monthly and weekly calendars from Sierra Paulson's Etsy shop, and it was a success. I didn't have one get jammed up in my printer. So now I have Tomoe River inserts in my planner, and my entire calendar from January of 2020 months through December of 2020 weeks take up this much room in my planner. So it's really minimal. I don't need daily um, daily planners at all. So this is working out phenomenally for me. I do have the one page from Cloth and Paper that is the year at a glance, um, and then my month on one and week on one. And when I printed these up, I thought, well, 
should I get the one that has the weak on one side and then the grid on the ne next side? And I knew that that would bulk up the number, the space in my planner quite considerably doing that. So what I opted to do is just use a um, an extra page of paper and punch it in between the two weeks that I'm currently using. So this week, my things are on my calendar items are on the left side and my lists are on the right and then when we move to next week I will remove my rulers and put them on the other side of the page <clears throat> and then I will have a list page on the left and my calendar on the right um, I've already done some meal planning for this week on this side so and if I if I need more I can add an extra page and when I'm done, I can pull this out of my planner and put it someplace else or throw it away or do whatever I want to with it. So I think that this is going to work out really, really well for me. I don't know why I need to keep like these shopping lists and, and trackers at any given time. So I think that throwing them away is going to be a good thing. I have um, a page in my monthlies that kind of functions the same way. I've got online or my purchase tracking over here on the right across from February and then when the month is over I will do March tracking on the left and keep that opposite of my planner here and so on and so forth. So let's see and then I decided that I would make these little itty bitty tabs per sections as needed. Um, some of my sections I have um, subdivided so for my planning section for example I have a mini task, project, and dream tab. And then for my info section, I have mini me, my husband, my mom, and my two dogs tabs. And because they're so tiny, they really, for the most part, fit above this pen loop. I have to adjust these family ones in the back so that my Aussie tab doesn't bump against the pen loop. I find that that's getting kind of skewed. And what these are, are the post-it note. Um, I don't have one on my desk. I should have grabbed that from my drawer before I started the video. But they're, um, they're plastic tabs that you can stick on, peel on and peel off. And they're about an inch and a half long. And I printed the words on acetate. And then I put the acetate on the, I trimmed the white off the tab so that they were just clear and not white. Um, and I stuck the stuck the word on the sticky side because I kind of like them on the back rather than on the front of the pages. So I stuck the word on there and then I put packaging tape over it. So that's how I made my little tabs. And I did the same thing on these um, on these uh, plastic plastic dividers too. Uh, and this is just I told in my other videos. This is just um, stencil paper from Joanne Fabrics that I cut into dividers. Or maybe maybe these aren't. Maybe these are from a shop because I, when I moved to the bottom tabs, I might have changed that. So that is my update. I am really, really loving just carrying one book and knowing that everything that I need is here and I don't have to shuffle and juggle for my calendar if I'm writing the date in something and my cards are all here. It's just all in this one planner. This is just the right size in my mind to not feel ridiculous when you're checking out at a cash register to pull this out of my handbag and use it as a wallet. If anything, um, I get more comments on from sales clerks like, wow, that's really a cool way to organize your wallet, you know, and I'm, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so um, I'm loving it. And I'm loving it so much that I actually have started to accumulate another large collection of this size planner. So that's another video for another time that I'd be happy to share with you. I have one coming in um, next week and maybe I'll share with you the ones that I've got my hands on since I purchased this rust one and fallen in love with it. Um, I really, I'm liking this color so much that I don't have any urge to move out of it at the moment, but I'm also kind of liking the idea for the first time of trading planners out and moving into a different planner whenever I want to or every month or whatever. So, um, but right now this rust is really kind of quenching my 
I don't know. It's, it's hitting all the right buttons for me. So yeah. If you guys have any questions, if I haven't provided any information that you'd like to know um, about any of the things that you've seen in the video, leave the questions down below and I'll get back to you. And so I've got two videos coming, one with um, the medium Campanias that I've started collecting again, a shameful, shameful admission, and another one with a um, little shopping spree that I did when I was up north. So I decided to separate because I didn't think that necessarily everybody would want to look at my stationary purchases if you were interested in planners. So two more videos coming soon. I will talk to you later. Bye.